Hello, this is Bloodstorm and welcome to another Minecraft video inside my fantastic world. Today in this video, I am finally going back to my fantastic bear to build a brand new mini game. But uh, first, uh, let me go get my breakfast and what do you think I'm going to have today? I think it's going to be an apple for breakfast today. Worst food in the game. Actually no, let me go. Oh no, Brute doesn't. Well, this is his backup room. Uh, I'll leave a baked potato on his bed for him when he get, when he goes to his room. Because I don't like baked potatoes and Brute does. Right, let's see what I get in this chest. No. Uh, dispenser, but... Wow. Go back in there. Let's see what I get this time. A cookie for breakfast. I do not want baked potatoes. I'm going to need to replace the baked potatoes in my... Uh, in my fridge, but uh, right. Uh, oh, look at those two. Oh, all three of them are down there, I think. Yeah, look, all three of the chickens are here. You're right there, chickens. Um, right, let's go take a dog. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, they're all here. Uh, Larry, you can join me today. And uh, let's head over to, to the Fantastic Bear. So, in the last episode, I finally finished building all three of my shops. Six episodes it took to finish them all. And. Uh, yeah, basically we are starting a brand new mini game, and I think it's gonna be a fun one we're building. Oh yeah, if you're wondering what happened to my diamond sword, oh, sorry, I felt tired again. Uh, I don't know why, I just started feeling very tired. I don't know, very sleepy, sleepy storm. Um, right. Uh, yeah, the mini game is base. Well, let me tell you the old idea for the mini game. So originally. The mini game was going to involve lily pads and boats. So you'll be what? So there'll be one person running around on lily pads. Well, there's one person in the boat driving through the lily pads, and you have to see how long you last before you fall into the water. And for some reason, that mini game. <sighs> Sorry, I just felt very tired again. Uh, but yeah, the mini game. Oh. You're right there. Oh no, get out, get out the fairies. No, get out, get out. Oh no, you do not belong in there, Larry. Wow. Yeah, the mini game, it, um, yeah, it had camp, no, not campfires. That has campfires. This mini game involves rails, but originally it was like a boat. You have to survive the longest on the lily pads. Quickest, longest time on the lily pad wins. But for some reason that stopped working. And this is what we're building today. I did this all outside of video. <sighs> I felt very tired again. <sighs> right, I need to stay awake. Don't know why, but I'm starting to fall asleep. Um, right. Uh, let's start building. So, let me tell you what this mini game is about. So, this mini game is going to be... Uh, hang on. Is this right? Yes. So, this is the Dark Oak side. So, it's going to be two teams. Uh, it's a 1v1, as always. Uh, this is the middle right here. So there's going to be... Both players are going to be in a minecart. And that needs to be... Birch on that side. Yeah, two people are in a minecart. And they have to try getting to the other side. Their opponent's side. Either first or not being tapped. And I just realised this is the wrong material. But yeah, there's two ways of winning the game. If you tap the other player, then... Uh, you win but there's another way you can win if you get to the opponent's side first then you also win so there's two ways of winning and it took me a while to decide what to go here after the minigame suddenly stopped working so yeah I decided to go with a minigame with rails and if you're wondering what what's going to be like on top of this light grey stuff there is going to be lanterns not, it is kind of a gameplay reason as well. But mainly just to light up the area. But yeah, on top, I'm going to add campfires. And I've just realised, like, most of these um, mini games over here involve campfires. Like, there's, there's a random campfire up there for some reason. Yeah, uh, most of these mini games here actually have campfires. I don't know why. My strange addiction, adding campfires to mini games. Don't know what that campfire is up there for. I felt tired again. Right. Um, let's get started on the gate first. So, we're going to need gates in this mini game, or else mobs will start walking in. And we do not want mobs to walk in. Or else they'll just ruin the game. But, uh, yeah. 
it's pretty much the whole the whole um layout of the game um right let's add some lanterns in just to light up the area when it's night time i had a choice of having torches or lanterns i just thought lanterns because people just destroy torches by accident and i just don't want that to happen and um yeah basically you'll be placing the rails down to get to your opponent's side uh whilst you're in the minecart and it does work it might be glit i don't know is it a glitch i don't know it might be just a normal thing minecraft has done but i don't know i feel like it's a glitch um but yeah let's just finish all these campfires and i can start on oh my god i am so tired Ugh. yeah uh the mini game is just gonna be just this it's gonna be like one of the quickest mini games to build i think i think i can build it under 10 minutes but yeah in the middle there's going to be um redstone blocks which i can like start placing in now and there's gonna be powered rails on this just to give you a boost when you when you're on the halfway point it's gonna give you a boost um right let me just place this bit part here yeah it's gonna give you a boost and um yeah let me just show you how it works so there's some mine carts in this chest i have all the way over here uh actually no i'll show you once at the end so yeah these mine carts uh i don't know why i have the rails on me when we've got the rails in here but, yeah you'll have one mine cart you'll get two stacks of rails but once you've had a lot of rails then you're pretty much screwed and you're pretty much lost if you run out and you're not on the other side i think the only option where you can win is by tapping your opponent i think that's the only way you can win um right let's add in some powered rails and it doesn't matter how these are placed there's a chance that you might go like oh all over the place and stuff um right let's start adding in uh let's start adding in this part so where you'll be starting off so I need to go, so, hang on, so it goes here, I believe, yeah, it goes here, right, uh, hang on, yes, it goes here, so yeah, we're going to have, hang on, let me do the exact same on this side as well, so, is that lined up, yes, it is, so yeah, this is basically where you'll be starting off, there's going to be rails on top of here as well, and uh, let's start adding in, adding in the mine cut, no, the rails, so, Give me rails here. There's gonna be like a one block gap between each of these rails, and yeah, I have a feeling this is gonna be a fun mini game. I'm looking forward to playing this game. Yeah, this is pretty much where you're gonna be starting off in the mini game. And uh, let me just get. I know I ain't got a man, a man cart. Uh, right here we go. So if I place this here, I can place a rail down like that, and these lanterns are basically obstacles. Yeah, there's a chance you might screw up. And uh, when you are trying to get to the other person's side, where's that mine cart gone? Oh, it's stuck down there. Yeah, when the minecart, um, yeah, when it, oh, what was I saying? If the minecart, what am I saying? I, I, I completely forgot what I was saying. Something about a minecart, I can't remember. Um, right, I need to add some stairs in, stairs in first. Uh, where's my crafting table? Oh yeah. Also, I need to. I think I, I'm not gonna do it now, but. At some point, I might do a, like a little redstone mechanism to reset the whole game and get all the all the stuff. I don't know. Um, right, it's not done. I need to do the dark oak side first. So let me make a crafting table. I haven't done that today. The first crafting table I've placed today. Um, right, where are birch? Here it is. And I need to make a couple. Well, not a couple. A bunch of stairs just like this and yeah this is just gonna go along the side and it's also just to make sure you don't go flying off as well when you're in the mine cart like when you're trying to get to your opponent's side and you're trying to climb up and you need to actually get on top of here you need to line up with the, one of the rails as well and yeah if you get like up here there's a chance that well you're not gonna go flying off basically that's what these are for as well um right let's start the dark oak side so it's gonna be the exact same as it is over there but with dark oak uh let me make the stairs first i don't have to keep going backwards and forwards uh right so the dark oak side is going to be the exact same i need to go two forward and then one right i believe uh so two forward one nope yeah here's a spot it's quite a confusing game to build well for me it's quite confusing um right here we go oh yeah let me tell you the name of it so basically 
I had no clue what to call it, so I decided to call it Keeping on Track. I didn't know what to call it, but uh, yeah, I called it Keeping on Track. Uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with the name. Um, right, two blocks of gaps. And uh, these, uh, what are those called? Lanterns. They're basically going to be an obstacle, but it's also just a way of lighting up the area. I think I said that earlier, but yeah, it can be used as an obstacle as well. And yeah, that's pretty much the only use for those lanterns. And um, right, now this is done, I can show you how the mini game is going to be. Um, right, let me get this out. Um, so yeah, you can pick any side you want, like any rail you want here. I'm going to close this up as well so no mobs come in. Yeah, I'll, I'll pick this one for show. So I'll go all the way down there, I can move it. And then I want to try getting to the other side without the opponent uh, chasing me or something at all. Yeah, there's a chance that can happen. But if you do derail, you can get yourself back on the rails. But yeah, it does waste um, a bit of tracks. And that's pretty much how the game's going to be. And I'm looking forward to this one. Quite a fun mini game. Um, right, let's pick up all of these. Actually, no, I think... Yeah, I think just not adding the redstone. I think I'll just keep how it is because I quite like it like this and I'm a bit, bit too attached to it like this. And oh wait, I will need to uh, not add the redstone because the powered rails and I wouldn't want to re replace them. Um, right, that is the end of this episode here. In the next episode, I will be having a tournament uh, for my keeping on track mini game. I need to add beds here as well because it is night time and there are phantoms as well. Uh, but yeah, that's the end of this episode here. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ouch. Bye.